Hey, folks. Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by Feels CBD. CBD isn't about what you feel. It's about what you don't feel, like stress, anxiety, or pain. You got that right. You ever use this stuff or what? I love Feels. I miss Feels. I signed up for an account one time and sent a a thing, Mm. uh, but I I couldn't get signed in. Whatever the, the point is. I want seals. I love feels. I need feels. I said seals by accident because I haven't had any feels. Uh-huh. But I, I'm an anxiety monster. I've been freaking out about climate change and COVID and the shootings. and Not the shootings so much, but I've been freaking out and I got anxiety problems. And then I, every once in a while I'll take a Tylenol PM and some guy told me the Tylenol PM wrecks your liver. You're going to mm. leave a liver transplant. You're a piece of shit. So... I got to get some feels. I love feels. When I use it, I put it in my chamomile tea. Sarah puts it under her tongue. My dad puts it in his ass. This stuff is as good as it gets. Makes you feel calm, sleepy, helps with anxiety, helps with sleep. I love it. I swear by this stuff. Yes, you're as right as rain, which I've never understood and uh, probably stop saying. Feels. Get on it. Feel better. Become a member today by going to feels.com slash Tuesday. So get 50% off your first order with free shipping with our promo code, baby. That's F-E-A-L-S dot com slash Tuesdays to become a member and get 50% automatically taken off your first order with free shipping. One more time, that's feels.com slash Tuesdays uh, and feel better. Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, nah, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. Hey, Nani folks, we're here, we're queer, we're in Queens, we're a couple of Queens. We're back in Queens, live from the underground basement, that's Lunch Stuff Studios, what's this? That's, so what's the reverse? Is it's out to lunch and the small stuff, so this would be small out. Wait a minute, oh, I was thinking out of dinner small? basement. Oh, I'm we going flipped lunch the dinner. Lunch Stuff Studios, yeah. this, is, uh, this is breakfast shit. Bye. Breakfast basement. Get a little of BB. Ah, alliteration. By, by the way, there's a Manchester by the Sea. You familiar with the film? Sure. Real tearjerker. Unbelievable. That's what I call a bad hand job. Great film. Love it. Uh, just obsessed with this movie. But I found a deleted scene. I didn't Ooh. find it. It's on, it's the, on DVD. the DVD. Yeah, or the whatever the iTunes. Uh huh. And there's a scene where they're talking about. It's like a Seinfeld scene. You got to. Sh- I'll show it to you after. It's upstairs. But. There's a deleted scene where they're on the boat, and he goes, what are you going to call the, the boat, the charter company? He said, mm. Chandler's Charters. And Casey Affleck's like, what? Alliteration? He's like, that's embarrassing. Chandler's Charters. He's like, why start there? Why not cheery Chandler's Chowder Charter? Oh, and they wow. do like a Jerry and Larry bit. Wow. No wonder they cut it out. Oh, am I getting you nervous here with this uh, tarantula? That's a little weird. I, I like something behind my head. I get it. I get it. Well, don't do anal. <laughs> Because uh, the whole thing is behind you. Doesn't that suck as a lady? You just gotta. What's going on back there? I don't. I, I hear something. It, it's insane. It's you crazy texting? to me. I mean, I guess it's nice though if you've been married for a long time. Sure. Teaser. And you know the lady gets to stare at the the pillowcase, so she can pretend she's fucking Mickey Mouse. Yeah, yeah, or Scooby Doo, or or My Little Pony. <laughs> but, uh, I gotta stare, you know, at her back. I can pretend it's my father's back, like I like. But yes, still, I'm still there's still a visual. So that's the only sex other than eyes closed, I guess. Ah, uh-huh. maybe that's why ladies, my lady loves a mirror in the sack. Because uh, maybe she can see behind her. She's got like a rear view, like <laughs> she's adjusting it like a like a student driver. That's not bad. Uh, I like a mirror, too, because it feels like I'm watching porn or something. Mm. I, I just had a mirror situation in my hotel in Nantucket. I'm all mirror. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it, you feel cool, you look cool. It's nice because it, it was a closet door with a mirror on the inside, so I had to adjust Ooh. the door. And at one point, I paused the fuck because the door had come a little close. So all uh-huh. I could see was my ass cheek. Yes. And I, I don't like any pimples and sex, so I had to adjust the door and come back. Yeah, I know it's an old hack gag, but... Uh, the the jerking it with the when the guy they show the guy enough with these porns we've gone so far in porn 
And then we're still right at the climax. You got to show the guys uh, mutton chops. And I'm like, God, I'm holding it in, trying not to jizz uh, right when the guy's on screen. I hate a chop. I hate, uh, yeah, I don't understand the close up of the dick, the ball bag, the whatever, unless it's gay porn. Sure. But strangers by the lake. Yeah, hetero. We got, we got gay men. By the way, is that bird missing his head? Did his head fall off on that yeah, statue? Yeah, yeah. Just like marriage. No more head. Oh, but, no, it's tilted, I see. Uh, it's a tilted head. Well, this is uh, not, not fair for the folks at, at home here. Should I bring it on screen? Because it looked like it was missing a head, but it has a head. We got head back, folks. <laughs> My beer's got a little head. By the way, this is not beer. This is liquid death, folks. Mm-hmm. Not a sponsor, but uh, I love the stuff. I'm ordering it by the caseload. Really? Well, it's exciting because you feel like you got a brew. It's cold. It's a can, and it's better for the environment. Ah. Uh, Ah, throw us a couple of clams, will you, LD? Hey, Liquid Death, I wouldn't kill you. I'm, I'm, I'm drinking this on three different podcasts. Wouldn't kill you to throw me a couple hundo, would you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, by the way, Liquid Death, great name for diarrhea, I'd say. Good point. Ah, uh-huh. I have a point. When's the last time you had diarrhea? Well, you know, it's weird. When I was a kid, if I got diarrhea, it was life-shattering. Like, oh, my God, I have diarrhea. I called the uh, local congressman. But now I get diarrhea maybe once a week. Really? Yeah, well, it's a lot of booze going through. The booze goes in your body and just starts fucking shit up in there. It's like a BLM riot. Yeah, you forget. Uh, a BLM BM. riot. Yeah. Uh, fun. We're back, folks. <laughs> Boy, I feel like I haven't seen you since 78. So much has happened. When did we record? Uh, ooh, I don't know. It was before Cosby got out, so it's been a while. Was it one of those Fridays? We had to record on a Friday, remember? Was it a fry? Yeah, I think it was a Friday. That's right. We're here on a Friday? It was a Friday or a Thursday, maybe. maybe it was early. Thursday. It was a non-Monday because you were in. Uh, you went to Vineyard. That's right. It was the day before you left for the Vineyard. You're right. It all worked out. So, uh, anyways, I haven't seen you in a dog's age. Yeah, yeah, in Maine Coon's age. But uh, I got some. I got so much. I mean, should we get right in, or I, should we blow each other? What do you think? I guess we should dive in because I feel like this is going to be a historic episode. An historic, a historic, the infamous, a historic, and historic. historic. Yeah, but. That's not a vowel, yeah, but it's pronounced there. like a vowel. Yeah, well, hiss. An historic. I think you could say it, it depends on how you pronounce it. I think it's A. A historic, proper, but some people say it an historic because they say historic. Oh, like honest. You don't say the H. You don't say honest. Good point. Uh-huh. I have a point. God, it must suck to be a foreigner coming here to learn the English language. It's a nightmare. It's all Pipes. wacky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, well, let's get into it because, first of all, I flew over your head. 30,000 feet above your head, oh. you lucky bastard, you <laughs> son of a bitch, or whatever. Because you were in Martha's Vineyard. I went to Nantucket, and their neighbors and rivals. It was pretty interesting. Are they rivals? Well, in football, they used to be rivals. What? They're each an island. And so each, you right. know. In Nantucket, they're, Nantucket's very exclusive, so Vineyard's like their cunty over there. I see. And Nantucket, because it's exclusiver and, or whatever word is proper and mm. smaller, I think it's a little richer. Oh. But then the Vineyard's got the celebrities, but also the blue collars. Interesting. And so it's a lot, and the Vineyard's closer to the mainland, but Nantucket's a little cuntier. Frank, I, I've spent some time in both. Ultimately, I like Nantucket better, what? but the Vineyard's a little friendlier. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why don't the celebrities live on the tuck? I don't know why I know Tuck. I don't know why. Uh, I think there's been a couple celebs there, maybe. But I think once uh, the celebrities are like, what are they like? Mm, once one lives there, they go, I'll live there. Ah, uh, they're sheep followers. Mer- Meryl Streep is over. Well, I don't want to Meryl make- Sheep necessarily make it negative because maybe they just want to be with a buddy i see it makes sense we like comedians yes exactly i mean if uh you know uh, you and ari and aaron jackson move to baltimore i might go hey maybe i'll dip down to baltimore but look at austin look at austin i was just gonna say yeah so Ryan austin green i think there's maybe there's more space too i don't know but nantucket both special beautiful islands off the coast of uh cape cod it's in massachusetts Yep. And so I flew right the fuck over your head, and I was like, there it is. And I, wow. I, I thought in my mind, isn't it weird to be looking at a, a large, I can see most of the island. I'm mm. like, I can see you without seeing you. Yes, yes. You don't even know you're seeing me, but maybe you are. Yeah, you're in. The, well, I can't see the tops of heads, but I can sure. see the space that you're inhabiting. Right. Yeah, that is kooky. And, and a little uh, intrusive. 
Ah, I couldn't hear your conversation right, or anything. I right. didn't see, well, uh, you know, the bottom of your feet when you were getting railed. Probably for the best. Uh, I could have used you there, get, get a witness. But, hmm? ah, never <laughs> mind. <laughs> All right. But, yeah, yeah, wacky time. But first, I got to throw this nugget at you. So, I had a gig in Syracuse. I got a couple emails about this. Syracuse Funny Bone, my least favorite Funny Bone, least favorite city. Sorry, Cuse. You stink. It's tough. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> it's a tough go out there in the Sierra. And uh, so this this guy hits up my agent and goes, hey, I'm a record exec. I got a bazillion dollars. I'm richer than anal. Uh, you, you, we want, want your guy to do some, some yuck-em-ups at our birthday party. Okay. And it was big money. Me and Roy Wood June. Whoa. Yeah, co-headlining. Whoa. So I go, hey, I'm in. Fuck Sear. Let's go to the, the rich guy. And it's on the Hamptons in Montauk or wherever the hell it is. And they go, can you get an opener? We'll give 10 bucks. I mean, 10 minutes, 1000 bucks. And I said, let me call the Veter. Wow. 10 minutes, 1000 bucks. Yeah, and he's got a car, so we're off and running. Veter's like, I'm in, fatty. Here we go. I fucked my kid. He threw his kid in a dumpster. We, uh, we jump time. in the car. I text Roy Wood. I'll see you there, dickless. And he goes, oh, I canceled that. And I was like, huh? What? Why'd you cancel? He goes, ah, I got a thing. And plus, it looked a little shady. Hmm. So we start googing. Turns out this guy's a real like out of succession, just like uh, a Gadsby, you know, real uh, real man about town, player, prostitutes, whores, drugs. So I said, let's go. Okay, he's like an Epstein. Yes, he's an Ep. So uh, great Ep, and uh, we uh, we hightail it out there. And I text my old fat friend Eric Mann. I go, hey, he's got the video camera. I said, get your ass in the back seat. We're going out to this uh, wacky gig, and it's going to be an adventure. Okay. So we got a we got a video camera. We get all lobbed up. Veter's sitting on a phone book. We're driving out to the Hamptons, and this is the day I saw you. All right. And we did a pod, and I got to apologize for being wildly hungover. I couldn't even get up. I was shitting water. Talk about a, uh, diarrhea. I was. I had a miscarriage. Yeah, that was rough. Woo! I couldn't even open one eye. My dick was bleeding. It was a hell, hellish, hellish hangover. Uh-huh. So we jump in Veter's car. I'm, ah. We drive out there. This was the wackiest gig. It's in a school. Uh, what do you call it? A elementary school. Okay. On the Hamptons in Montauk, rich ass school. One of these places where the school looks like a museum. It's for like ten year olds. Like they don't need this this African sculpture here that's worth ten ten mil. Are you fascinated by wealth? You just it's see it. You're like, this wacky. is wild. I was just in uh, Nantucket. Two point four million is the average household. Uh, that's average. Average. They had to put in low income housing. I think we talked about this last time I was in Nantucket. Low income housing, four hundred and seventy five thousand dollars. That's the cheapest house. On the island. That's low income. Low income, because it's all from scale. You take the average and you find like a, a, a one tenth of the average. Right, right. Four seventy five. That's, that's a slum. That's appalling. What is it about an island? It just shows we want to get away from people. Look at first class. Get me away from those idiots. Everything rich, private jet. Get me away from those uh, psychos. Island. Private. Shelter Island, Nantucket Island, Martha's Vineyard Island, uh, the other Fire Treasure Island, Island. Yeah. yeah. The other yeah. one, Block Island. But I, I, I'm, I get it. You, it's hard because you're like, fuck these rich people. I hate these people. But then you're like, boy, I'd like to live here. Of course, I'd of like course. to live. And you know, I'll, I'll get more into that later. But anyways, it's so fascinating that even the elementary school feels like yes. a university. Yes, it was very universe. You know, when you watch Breakfast Club when you're a kid, you're like, who's going to this? This school doesn't exist. Well, look at this library they have yeah it's like two floors yeah that blew my mind we had a we had a bookshelf and a slinky and uh there was lead paint everywhere but either way place is crazy they throw you a crazy meal the guy comes up turns out it's a 70s disco themed roller party whoa so we're going all in baby we get into the showroom prostitutes as far as the dick can queef. Come on. Are they I prostitutes mean, or are they sexy ladies in small shorts? Well, you get a look at the guy whose party it is. He looks like a bridge troll with, with glasses. I mean, he's an old Jew. They he's run a, on. He's a millionaire. He's one of these guys. He's just... He's got so much money to burn that, like, he's like a sultan almost. Hmm. But he's about four one. He looks like a mole man. He's got glasses on and a and a bald head. And he's just lo- so loaded that no one cares. The girls go up and oh, they kiss his head and they they talk to him like a retard. But he's 
He's loaded. He's a millionaire, a billionaire. These women love money. How come no one ever gets to talk about this? What's going yeah. on there? How many people talk about it? Well, I always say, I don't always say, but I think, you know, with Richard Branson and Bezos, the uh, the space is going to have a couple of hookers up there soon. It's going to have a bunch of gold diggers in space. Does it help you at all? Great movie. In, in show business, where you put out a video and you go, oh, it only got 3,000 views. My father hates me. I got six thumbs down. Does it make you feel any better that Richard Branson flew to space <laughs> and nobody gave a shit? Nobody gave. I mean, we all made jokes, but who gives a fuck? I mean, doesn't it make you feel like nobody's watching? I clicked on it by accident. <laughs> I was watching uh, the soccer match there, and I said, eh, it's halftime. I'll check out NBC News. Well, I will say it, it annoys me that no one gives a shit because our priorities are all out of whack. Because if Richard Branson got caught saying the N-word at a baseball game, that would be that would take over the airwaves. But he goes to space, and we're like, eh, what are you going to do? Exactly. That's a, that's a great point. I have a point. That's point two. Uh, Two but points. I, I was just saying the same thing, and everyone hates rich people. They're like, oh, he's just rich asshole. There's this and that, and I'm like, well, what do you want him to do? He's going to space. It's still pretty cool. Yeah. And then they literally, I watch. I'm watching an NBC, and they're like, well, hopefully these the gatekeepers. We keep an eye on the gatekeepers of space. I'm like, what are we gonna do? We gotta bring homeless people to space. <laughs> uh, he, he's rich. He worked hard. He got some space. I, I hate yeah. to be the you know I'm this with guy. You. I'm with you. Who gives a shit? What 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 gatekeepers? Everyone everyone deserves to go to space now. <laughs> I'm okay. I can't afford to go to space. I'm all no. right not going to space. I hate space. I don't need any space. NASA's weird. I hate an alien. We had an alien last month and nobody gave a fuck. So. I know. Spaceballs is overrated. Illegal aliens. Space bar. It, it's just, <laughs> uh, it's enough. Uh, let him go to space. If he can afford it, you can't. Who gives a shit? You don't need everything. There you go. And and stop worrying about people. It, it, if he didn't have all the money, they wouldn't care. If some if some poor guy, like some rapper who was broke from Atlanta, was like, "I'm going to space," everybody like, "Good for you." But yeah. if the rich guy goes, everybody hates him. Yeah, I don't get it. But anyways, the point is, he went to space and it had like you know fifty thousand viewers. So wow, that's low. I mean, I just made that number uh. up. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But my point is. You know, you put out a sketch and it gets 20,000 views. That's not bad. No. Branson's in space doing backflips and fucking his mother. Right. And uh, it didn't even make the evening news. Yeah, well, there you go. I mean, I don't know if these rich guys, I get it. You want to go do shit. You're rich you, and no one tells you no. So you're like, I'm going to space. But there's nothing to buy up there. Once you get there, you're like, I guess I'm just normal. I'll just go back. Yeah, they, so you can buy a Nantucket house. I think they were there for like four minutes. I guess it's the final frontier, according to mm. Captain James Titz Kirk. Sure, sure. All right. Well, space, race, mace, queef. Uh, where the hell is that talking? About? Oh, so we so go the to space this- roller coaster. Yeah, we go to this party, seventies uh, themed, and I go. I'm with Vitor and my buddy Man, and um, he's like, "That's a Man. prostitute, that Eric Man. That's a ah. prostitute. That's a prostitute." I'm like, "How do you know? How do you know?" And you could see because they would just go up to random guys and go, "How are you doing? What do you need? <laughs> something? You need anything? How you feeling? You good? You want to dance? Uh, I like your suit." These women were smoke shows, and they're going up to randos, going like like fat, ugly old guys, like. Hey, I like your tie. Uh, what do you do? Ah, so you could just tell they were too friendly. Hmm. Yeah, which is not great for the uh, the the plight of hot chicks when you see one be friendly and you're like something's up. <laughs> you know, this is friendly hots. All right, couple. I'd like to meet them, but uh, yeah. So just a wild gig, and Vitor goes up, eats the biggest bag of toe cheese Oof. I've ever seen in my life. The poor little Oof. guy. He's four foot two. He's uh, bald headed. He's got kids, and man, they hated him. Now, were the are the are the people the patrons roller skating at this point, or they take the skates off? I think a lot of people were sitting at this point, and with uh, the skates, with the skates, some okay. skates, some no skate. There's a lot of booze going around, so like technically mm. that's drinking and driving, but. Uh, he goes up, and I was like, "Well, maybe they're waiting for the headliner." Mm. So he had such a bad bomb, and I and I'm, I would say this in front of him: the the birthday boy goes up, the old Jewish guy, and he goes, "Wow, this is bad, folks. We got to be a little nicer. We got to give it up more. We got to help these guys out. This is a tough gig." And uh, so then they bring me on, and I start riffing and raffling a little with them because they need a little riffing. And they kind of start to congregate more. And then I'm like, all right, I think I got them. I go into material. And then I die for a good 28 minutes. Oof. 
And it was just a gruesome, brutal death. I walk out there, and they, they had a bunch of grips because it was a huge stage with a huge production. All these grips were like, you good, man? <laughs> like, like the older black guys in like, uh, wife beaters and, sh- and cargo shorts like, you all right, man. You all right. Don't worry about that. Like oh. They were so nice, but they knew I was in hell. Jesus. That's a bad bomb. So we get off, and the prostitutes are very nice to us. Hey, you're good. Don't listen to these idiots. I take it up the ass for a living. I know what you're going through. It's like, thank you, whore. And uh, then we just, I got drunk. We ate all the hors d'oeuvres. It was bananas. And now we're like a couple hours in, and we're kind of doing the, we should leave, but this is such a, a sight mm-hmm. to see. The, the, the whores on skates and the old Jewish guy getting blown. And this guy comes up, and he goes, hey, man, I thought you were funny. I got a gift for you. I got the best Molly in New York. Okay. I keep it in a jar of honey. You want some? And I was kind of keyed up, and I'm like, all right, give me some Molly. And he takes a big scoop of this honey Molly, puts it in my mouth, and he rolls away, and they go, what are you doing? You just did a whole episode about the Green Hulk. And I go, Pah! and I spit it all out. Oh, my God. Yeah. What, what is? What, what, how are you getting these gigs, these Molly <laughs> gigs and the Hulk gigs? Well, these gigs suck. Who's your agent? Well, the money was great, and uh, it was in a story. I got a story. Oh, my God. Honey and Molly? What the fuck is this? Best Molly apparently on the planet. I mean, I didn't get any effects because I, I yacked it up real quick. But then he goes up to the old Jewish. This guy must have been 78 years old. He goes, there you go. He what? took a slice. What kind of life are these people living? I mean, what is the honey, by the way? You put molly and honey? Yeah, you can make molly. It's like a weed brownie, but molly and honey. Oh, I never heard of such a thing. I, I don't know much about the molly scene, but you don't take it from an old bag, stranger Jew fella well, in he Riverhead. Was, he was younger, but uh, yeah, it's just these billionaires are so bored. They're, they've, they've, their rods and cones are all numb because they've seen it all. They go to space. I mean, this is wacky. Please stop sticking Molly up your ass, for God's sake. I heard I mean, your, you, you your, shit it out. I heard your tiny mouth in my head, and I went, get, get, get rid of it. And me and Vader, we we shook hands, we made a pack, we pinky promised, we touched dicks, and we left. All right, wow. So you got the money at least. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, have you talked to Roy and said you really dodged a bullet, or did you say, hey, you missed a a good bullet? I said you missed a hell of a party. He was like, I'm glad I didn't go, fuck it. Because it was an excursion. Like, it's one of these things you go, hey, it's a crazy story, but it's a six-hour drive total, and... You know, it's it's you get home at two in the morning or whatever the hell. So it was a bitch. And most gigs, once you have the money, it all pat. It's life. It all is. You're like I, that. That sucked. This ate it. I ate it. My, you know, whatever. And then you leave and you go, that wasn't so bad. That was fine. That's whatever. true. It's true. And I try to look at life that way because you know people go. You know, people think flying is a big deal. We fly every goddamn weekend, twice a weekend. Sometimes a layover. And they go, aren't you tired? Oh my god, take a night off. You flew, and you're like, eh. I sat in a seat in the sky. Uh, I gotta say, I do hate the flying. It's I mean, a lot of stuff. It. You get a headache. Uh, stressful, but <laughs> I, I gotta tell you about a hell of a flight I had. All right, well, I had to, I had to get that that crazy drug fueled uh, horror story out. That was a buffer. A little. That was a yes. little. We dipped our toes. Now, I can't see the clock. I like to see the clock. Twenty two. Okay. Twenty three. So yeah, you you <laughs> you jizz right in my mouth and see if it tastes good. Well, you know what I mean. The uh, I like to start a sentence. You know what I mean. <laughs> People do that. You know what I mean? Um, I don't. So I have, you know, I had way back in the day, we did the the tour with Louie and the Schumer with the private jets sure. and the things and the hotels. The PJ. So what's that? That's what the kids are calling the private jet. Oh, PJ. I yeah. think Pearl Jam. I see. I um, think pajamas. Oh, yeah. Or PB and J. Aha. Uh-huh. Good sand. Peanut jelly. Peanut and jelly, I guess. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> It's like a jelly bean. Oh, yeah. Jelly belly. It's weird that the butter, is that, I guess that's two words. Peanut Peanut butter. Yeah, PB and J. So peanut butter is not one word. No, it's two. It's two. Peanut sounds like two, but that's one. It's like four words. Peanut butter. Well, now you got an H in there. Uh, Good point. Well, anyway, so I had uh, (laughs) had this uh, foot was over the line. (laughs) Steph Curry over here. Whichever the way the line went. By the way, the NBA Finals, are they going to end anytime soon? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck's going on? People are like, hey, NBA for game five tonight. I'm like, are you kidding? It's August. What does that mean? 
Usually this ends in June. It's, oh. I mean, it's fucking... Well, uh, it's climate change, I you mean, know? <laughs> we got to press on. I got it. It's, it's dark at like 5.30 p.m. The NBA finals are still going on. I think it's, it's the Delta variant. Who can keep up? It's very strange. I don't understand. That. Everyone's like, I have the best athletes in the world. They got four days off between every game. Wow. Is that good or bad? That's, that's ridiculous. Bad? Hockey's every other day. What? Basketball, they got three days, and then they're like, wow, they're traveling. I'm like, it takes three days to go from Milwaukee to Phoenix? I got to do it in two hours. What are they, Columbus? They could drive (laughs) to the hoop. (laughs) Anyways. Adam Driver. So I got, and I don't, I got to be careful not to repeat too much because (laughs) I'm going to talk about the Nantucket Comedy Festival. Yes. And I've been twice before, and I just go head over heel. I throw my ankles up over my head and and shove all the dicks in my ass every time I go to Nantucket. Hell yeah. It's the greatest fucking place on earth, best festival ever. Wow. And so they didn't have it for two years. And the last time I went, I went two years in a row because I went. And then they're like, next year we'll have Sarah. So then I went with Sarah. So I got two years in a row. They're like, we'll have you next year again. And then uh, it didn't happen and COVID and the whole thing. So this year it's back, much smaller, but we got the invite. And I okay. feel so happy to get the invite. I got to get into this little circle. Oh, it's something. You do one. It might not be for you. There's no money. And you do one 10-minute set over the course of six days. So it might trigger you a little bit. Okay, okay. But it's a, quite a trip. It's quite a place. And so uh, Kevin Flynn runs the whole damn thing. Mm. Great guy. Funny guy. Asian. Just a classic guy. It's, uh, it's, this is the lineup. Kevin Flynn, <laughs> Jackie Flynn, Don <laughs> Gavin, uh, Tom <laughs> Cotter, <laughs> me. It's, it's, it's like the white <laughs> Irish this? Catholic it's like fest. It's Patty's Parade. It was, <laughs> it was great. I mean, it was just melanoma everywhere, just a sea of... Blonde eyelashes everywhere. It was beautiful. <laughs> Tiny dicks. A lot of laughs. <laughs> great, great one-liners, comebacks. Oh, yeah. I mean, is there anyone funnier than a straight, white, Irish guy oh, from Boston? Come on, God. folks. It's hard to beat. It's uh, it's just, I, I'm, I'm rolling on the floor laughing. Hey, yeah. uh, Justin McKinney was another one. Oh, what a mick. Oh, McKinney. I love McKinney. I hadn't seen him since in a fortnight, but... Uh, Man, it's a couple of leprechauns we had, in there. I don't know where to start, but I'll just get, we had quite a hang. And then Don Gavin's over there, legend Don Gavin. Check out his album live with a Manhattan. The guy probably put out an album. So funny. One of the best ever. Killer. He lunch. walks over the party and goes, Don, we were just calling you. He goes, what were you calling me? <laughs> <laughs> just, Come on. He's just on. He's on. He's so fucking funny. But anyways. Is he still hitting it hard? Ah, uh, well, he's taking a break. All he was right. a little sick. I All think right. he's having a couple cocktails there. But, uh, I mean, he's like 74 years old and headlined wow. the show. Just brings the heat. But I'll get to that. Okay. So, Can't wait. We're doing the gig, Nantucket Comedy Festival, and you fly Trade Winds Air. You ever fly Trade Wind? I don't like the sound of that. No, it's a good, good sound. Hell of a thing. So trade wind. That sounds like a bad thing. Like a couple of people farting. Now they're trading wind. I think trade wind means something. I think it's like sailing or sounds Native American, frankly. Fair winds, trade trade it's something. But mm. it's one of these it's charter. Charter. It's cheery charter Chandler. I pretend I know what charter means. That means you, you it's private, you buy it. I think charter means charter you pay somebody to take you. You charter fishing. Ah. Means you, me, Kramer and the butler. I we see. each pitch in a few hundred bucks. We give it to a guy and he takes us out and we do he we do whatever he wants. Oh, that sounds horrible. I mean we he does whatever we want. All right, that's better. Yeah, so it's you know, you it's charter like a prostitute. A prostitute. There exactly. There you go. All right. So it's Escapes. a charter flight, but I also never knew what it was. This is all context, by the way. I might have it wrong. It might mm. just be a flight that leaves during the day. I'm it not sure. It sounds good. I've heard of ch- get the charter bus. Yeah, bus, though. Charter, bus charter. Bus is no good. You charter a bus. You charter a bus. I've heard of that. Yeah, that means if you and I were going on tour, we had enough money, we say, why don't we charter a bus? Yes. But that's different than taking a bus. Yes. You could take or you could charter. Yeah, well, now we're doing a Seinfeld bit. Well, that's what the whole show is. <laughs> that's true. Good point. I mean, I don't want to burst anyone's bubbles here, but <laughs> but anyways, so we, uh, they charter a plane for us. Thank you. Charter. Tra- trade win. Trader Joe. Yeah, New England clam charter. Ah. Uh-huh. And so we get there, and you got to go to Million Air, it's called. Ah, uh, boy, they don't uh, mince anal over there. What, what, what? Well, I mean, uh, we're a bunch of rich people in the Tucket. We're millionaire. Well, it's, this is in White Plains. We're also oh, rich, oh, oh, okay, also okay, wealthy, okay. but some aren't wealthy in White Plains. No, no diversity there. Or Westchester. White Plains is a good name for an airline. The planes are white. That's nice. I like that. It would be funny if they made them orange, kind of like ironic. Ah, we call I it like White it. Plains. And 
Anyway. We ran out of paint. So we go to White Plains. We drive up there, and it's such a different world when you're chartering a flight. Oh, yeah. Because they're like, it's White Plains. They go, so what do I do? I leave my car. Is there a car service? They go, no, no, you park your car for free. Free parking. Wow, at an airport, unheard of. Free parking. So we drive up to White Plains, and you ever do this? They give you the address for the secret saucy airline, mm. Trade Winds. And so I plug it into my Google Maps, and this is, the, uh, this is where I want to fucking kill myself sometimes. The lady who runs the festival says, type in this address and go to this place and park for free. Okay. And so I go, okay. I plug it in. We're pulling up, and I didn't leave myself enough time because I'm, I'm getting places too early. I'm mm. trying to work on my OCD, my anxiety. I'm always five hours early. I feel like you hate me. I text you. I'm like, I'm here if you're ready. Nah, I don't it's, hate it. I, just, I worry about you. You're losing life. I'm there three and a half hours early. Well, I have a good life. I just walk around. I, I, I blow a couple of homeless people. Sure. I give them a buck. I charter their asshole. There you go. So Charted. I'm like, I'm not going to get there too early, but then I'm freaking out. It's worth it getting there early. We get there. I pull up to the address, mm. and it says, take a right here uh-huh. and there's a sign that says um what's the thing called the tower ah uh, yes what's the, that where they go like this so you go hey bring it in bring it in uh, flight flight tower. control flight control it says flight control and then it says some other mumble jumble and as i'm turning i go what that's the flight tower i can't go to the flight tower i'll just go to the main t- it says main terminal this way with an wow. arrow and it says tower of fucking flight Fair. tower uh-huh. take a right some other else take a right and I just freak out. Uh-huh. I'm like, ah, I can't. What am I gonna do? I can't drive to the tower. Yeah, they won't let you over there anyway. So it says main terminal. I'm like, I'll just go to the main terminal. So then the thing says correcting. It says eight minutes. Oh, I just added eight minutes. I hate that. I get to the main terminal. I'm like, we'll walk in. We'll figure it out on foot. We walk in. It's like TSA. Everything. It's a regular airline. Oh boy. TSA this. TSA that. You know, uh, whatever. Delta. So I go variant. So I go. Hey, how do I get to uh, the the private the charter flights? You go. Oh, you're in the wrong oh, place for that. You hate hearing that. And he goes, you got to go talk to little Miss Muffin upstairs. Oh, so not Muffin. I go upstairs with the two suitcases. Sarah and I, I talked to a lady, she's at the desk, and I go, hey, I'm looking for Million Air, and yeah. she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's close. And I go, oh, walking right. distance? She goes, no, walking ah. distance. She's like, you, you gotta, you gotta, there's a different parking lot. You gotta get back in your car. My flight is chartered. We're leaving at 1240. It's like 1208. Oh! So I'm like, oh, fuck, I gotta get over there. She starts explaining. I'm like, I got the address. So we run back downstairs. I'm yelling at Sarah. I'm calling her mother a cunt. Yep. We jump in the car. Throw the suitcase in the back seat, peel out, drive all the way back to the original address ah. that I had, but I fucking hate myself, so I question it. Why did you question? Because the sign said flight deck or whatever. I and I was see. like, that can't be me. Who am I, crazy? It didn't I say see. millionaire or anything. I drive back. Of course, I have the exact address is right. Drive over there, park for free. I pull my suitcase off the seat. Uh It drags brown shit everywhere. I hate the brown shit. (laughs) I wiped my suitcase through brown shit. By the way, I haven't had it clean. You're about to be sitting in there in about a half hour. I'll put a towel down. So there's brown shit everywhere. I'm like, I got dog shit on my car seat. I just got it cleaned. I'm going to Nantucket for five days. It's going to be boiling in the Uh, sun in the free parking. It's going to cake. It's going to cake. I'm going to have cakey brown shit. Caked in my car. Good band. I can't worry about it. Love that band. So we go over there. I come running in like an asshole. My hair's on fire. My shit's falling out of my asshole. Yep. And I go, are we too late? And they go, what? It's a charter flight. (laughs) They're like, what are you talking about? You're like, you must be Joe and Sarah. The pilot takes our suitcase. Wow. He's like, all right, we'll bring it on. I haven't flown like this since the Louis days. Right. We sit in the fucking thing. It's like big leather seats. They are. They have Starbucks tea. Help yourself. What? Emperor's clouds, jade citrus mint, the whole thing. Free nuts. Uh, like twenty cents a nut. I know. So they're free. We walk on with one other lady who hated us. It was like mm. us two and this one other fat lady who must live in Nantucket. She hates us. I was wearing sweatpants. No. I could tell. I didn't like her vibe. No more nuts. But we get on there, we sit in the front row, and then they, the pilot closes the little thing. It's a single prop plane. It's wow. not even a jet. It's like the one airplane. The what? pilot like starts it by spinning it like this. What about the fat lady? She might take you down. Well, she's in the back, and uh, right. we had to disperse our weight because two of us equaled one of her. Sure. So I sit in the front row, and I can see the cock. I'm, I'm looking right at the cockpit. I can see 48.068.94. 
Yeah. You know, and... Don't uh, you want to blow a pilot? Anytime I see a guy in those white and blacks with the little douchey shoulder crap, uh, and they got the, the hair combed, they look great. Quaffed. Quaffed, even. And they got the, the hat. I mean, they're really sexy. I mean, that... Yeah. And eyes wide shut when the pilot's fucking uh, Kidman. Woo-wee. I love a kid. Forget a minute, man. Yeah. Uh, so it was just beautiful. And so we sit in the plane. We fly in. Private's all bumpy and hunky-dory. Land in Nantucket and just the greatest week of my life. Wow. I love Nantucket. And then all the same shit from last time. We rented bikes. We didn't even rent bikes. The hotel we were staying at, Jared Coffin House. Mm. Coffin House. A little... little <laughs> little uh, off-putting. Yeah. Anyway, they had free bikes every single day. We got our bikes. We went out to Sconset Beach. We went out to Mattacat Beach three days in a row, seven-mile bike ride each way. Wow. Eating at Millie's, Tex-Mex with the view of the ocean, oh. fog, the ocean. We swam in the ocean every day, and it's just spiritual. It heals. Uh, it it heals. heals. I mean, I'm just out there, and because of climate change, it's like bath water. I was yeah. swimming in Maine the week before. It's 48 degrees, wow. literally. This water is like 65. I'm Ooh. floating. You're so buoyant. Yes. And it's just magical. I, I got to move to the beach, or the beach will come to us, uh-huh. whatever it is. But every, I swim in the beach. I feel alive. I feel healed. I feel cured. It's just the best feeling feeling in the fucking world there was some nice three foot swells coming in you let those rock you and roll you oh, yeah. it's spiritual jerry it is it is the the world is talking to you i just love it i loved every minute of it and uh, i'll get into some of the shows and the whatnots but i'll just tell you this real quick yep yep every night at the festival people might remember this from a few years ago but uh they take you all these rich people they're socialites they live in like the upper west they go to mm. nantucket for the summer they're these kind of people the martinis and they got 27 bedrooms and the huge shit. We go to the after party. You're going to shit on my oh asshole. Oh, boy. I'm nervous. We go to the after party, and the house is huge. Oh, house. Yeah. Big old house, 15 bedrooms, 19 bathrooms. And it's one of these. They have foosball set up, oh ping boy. pong. Oh, boy. Uh, the big pool, a huge pool, yep. deep end, in ground, the whole mm. thing. Then they got a fireplace next oh. to the pool. Oh, have you ever seen weird. a pool in a fireplace? No, too close. Water and, and fire. Wow, well, this is 50 feet, whatever. All right. Captain Planet. Then there's He's a, a huge TV, like a 48 inch. By, what's big? Is that big? Nah, that's not I think big. that's pretty standard. You got to oh, get shit. into the 70s. Maybe it's 70. Yeah. It's got to be 80. Whatever. It's like three TVs, but yeah. one TV. I see. Huge TV, fireplace. Pool, and ah. then they got like Pearl Jam on the God, thing. I'm like, on the blower. I, I'm like, you gotta be shitting me. Then they got a taco stand all set what? up. You go down, you get your tacos. Holy! Then hell. there's a bar, open bar. There's an ice cream oh, bar, free bar. You're tickling my taint. Roseanne bar. You got ice cream, booze, pool, taco, fireplace, TV. A lady comes up and says, well, I wanted to have the Red Sox game on, but it got uh, canceled because someone has COVID. Oh. Pearl Jam's playing. She's telling me about the Red Sox, and she goes, I don't want to be weird. I'm a huge twos game. Oh, I'm shitting blood. I can't believe it. <laughs> you like that? That's cold. A twos game. That's lunch. A twos game has a house on Nantucket. What? It's the size of fucking, uh, you know, my mother's debt. Oh. I mean, it's huge. Oh my God. I can't believe it. What is this high-class coos doing listening to the gays? I go, are you kidding me? Did someone put you up to that? Did oh. Gavin give you 20 to say yeah, that? I'm looking right? around like there's going to be a camera or Ashton Kutcher's going to be blowing my father. Oh, yeah. Probably you got punked. I mean, it, it's crazy. I'm like, a two's gay? Are you kidding? And she's a beautiful lady, I might what? add. I'm like, you got to be shitting me. Wow. Two's gay. I can't believe it. So then I don't know how to act. I'm like, I'm getting tacos and like dumping them on my head and stuff. I'm like, right, I'm right. trying to like. Got to give her a show. Yeah, I'm you dancing. Her a queef. I dove in with like a, the t-shirt that looks like a suit. You know that yeah. thing? Yeah. Um, but anyways, she sees a Tuesday and she said, if you need anything, uh, you know, take the, take my number. If you want to borrow surfboards or bikes wow. or anything. Oh, what does she do? I got to ask. Uh, I have no idea. I, hopefully she's a Patreon member at a hundred bucks a month for God's you, sake. You better be, you crazy kook. You got to. You got a mansion on the tuck. Don't mansion it. But uh, all right, I, I got to leave it there because we got to do some ads. We got to right? do some I mean, ads. Man, well, thanks to uh, 
Queen B or whatever the hell her name is, Aretha Franklin. But forget uh, her name, Michelle, I think, or something. Uh, but kudos to you. Nice to have a gay in the uh, in the in the Nantucket Island. I can't believe we made it that far. Well, it blows you away. I mean, a female Tuesday is is rarer than a diamond, and this yes. lady's a wealthy Tuesday. I, I don't. Mean, this is the Illuminati. I thought Go Pack Joe was the wealthiest, and he's a joke compared to this. Well, he might be a lady. Who knows? Hey, Tuesday is brought to you by Keeps. Keep it. Uh, we're all scared of losing our hair. I know I'm thinning, yeah, and uh, we got a we got a few. Uh, we got, I got a few years left, so I'm gonna get on this Keeps. I gotta go quick. Look at that. It's, uh, it's pretty full to me. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, maybe I've been doing Keeps. Two out of three men will experience. Some form of hair loss by the time they're 35. You got that right. I had a guy in high school, 18, cue ball. Big mistake. He killed himself. So you don't want to be that guy. More than 50 million guys in the U.S. alone are going bald, and there are only two FDA-approved drugs out there to prevent hair loss. Good news. Keeps has both of them. Wow. Wow. That's got to be nice. See a virtual doctor to get medication delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't even have to leave your home. Thank God. You don't want to get that that old chrome dome out in the sunlight. Keeps is low cost. Treatment started just 10 bucks a month. Everything comes in a discreet package. I got one of those. It's no wonder Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of the competitors. Prevention is key, baby, because it's hard to grow it back. You got to keep what you got. Treatments can take up to four to six months to see results. Tell them how to do it. You got to get on it. Hair is important. Women are shallower than you think. Get in there, kooks. If you're ready to take action, go to K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Tuesdays. Get your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Tuesdays to get your first month free. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Tuesdays and keep... Your hair. You got that right. Hey, Tuesdays is also brought to you by Gabby. Tuesdays story is brought to you by Gabby Insurance. There are hundreds of companies who claim to compare home and auto insurance rates, but only one who actually does it. Get better insurance with Gabby. Gabby is the one true comparison platform with fast, verifiable quotes. Not ballpark guesses, mind you. Use your current policy to find a better one. I got a, an old Beamer. This thing's an old tin can. It's a classic. Then I got a hog. You got to insure that or they'll tow that puppy right away. I don't know. I might be getting rooked. Who knows? I should have gone Gabby. It's free to use. The only uh, They only show you coverage that's equivalent or better than what you currently have at lower prices. Gabby helped me find the right policy, and it saved me a ton on insurance. You got a Sentra. You better insure the hell out of that thing. Tell them how to do it, fat man. Put your policy to the test like I did. Get better insurance with Gabby. See how much Gabby can save you. It's totally free to check out, and there's no obligation. Go to Gabby.com slash Tuesdays. That's G-A-B-I dot com slash Tuesdays. One more time, Gabby.com slash Tuesdays. Go, go, Gabby. Hey, hey. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. We got, uh, we're getting, we're, we're we're getting blowing there. through here. We got a ton. I got too much to go. I know. I got a lot, too. But you take over because I, everyone knows there's something coming in uh, their mother's twat here. So we, we got to keep it going. And then we got a gig out in Long Beach, which Ooh. we're going to film. Our friend Patrick Holbert is, is subbing in for uh, Chuck slash Salacuse. Yep. So get excited. Get on the Patreon today. You can get on there for as little as four or five bucks. Here, here. And uh, we're going to do a bonus right after this. Then we're heading to Long Beach with Ryan Reese. And Sarah's coming along, too. Patrick's going to film the whole thing. He's a hell of a guy. So get on the Patreon. Yes. There's so much shit there. It's like a TV show. If you ever want to see a TV show starring us, Get on the Patreon today Yep, and uh, throw us a couple clams, for God's sake. Please. Great entertainment. Hot gay sets, and we're going to go film one tonight. So more stuff is coming at you, queefs. Here we go. So you're in the tuck. I'm in the vin. Martha's Vineyard. First time there. Very excited. The lady is, uh, is out there. I go the next day. She's with the whole family. They rent this crazy house. Flying there is a bit of a, a pain in the cock. Trade winds. I should have gone. I did. Uh, now they got Cape Air. Uh, I know Cape Air. Yep. Cosby likes rape air. But hey, Ooh. who's counting? Uh, so I get a sweet Delta flight. It's an hour flight. JFK, <laughs> right over there. 
course, the flight's delayed three hours. Ah, uh, fog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so you know, you get to the airport at ten. Your flight's at eleven. Now the flight's at two. You get there at three thirty. You lose the whole day. Hate the day loss. Yeah, yeah. So they're going. Where are you? They're out on the beach. They got the sun in their cocks and then their piss hole, and they're doing all the castles of sand and drinking. High noons out there, and like, where are you missing out? Taking selfies, they're in a big hat and glasses. I'm like, ah, I'm at, I'm at, I'm at uh, Hudson News over here. Ah. So finally, we fly in, and you're pissed because you're like, I'm sweaty, I'm gay, I'm losing the day. And right when you hit that, mm-hmm. right when you get on that island, you look at, you lift that shade, you go, holy shit, what am I? It's like, it's like Jurassic Park, just the rolling hills, the foliage. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. John Williams. Yeah, he's very good. Yes. John Williams, better at his job than anyone else's at any other job. That's my opinion. I mean, is there anyone better? Uh, Superman, Indiana Jones, Star Wars. Uh, Martha's Vineyard. Uh, what? Jaws. Jaws. Come on. So, I uh, get there. I jump in an Uber. It was like $8,000. They're like, Kind of annoying they wouldn't pick me up, but they're like, come meet us here. They're just so in it. They're they're in La La Land. I don't care for that move. I don't I don't love it. Finally, I get a $28,000 Uber. I get to this bar. They're all at this bar. It's cornhole. It's volleyball. It's just spread out Adirondack chairs and just a fire pit. It's magic. Magical. New England's the best. I'll, I'll blow anybody that says any different. Beautiful. The, 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 the airport jizz rolls right off your back and down your crack, and you're just in it, Jerry. I mean, you are in the vineyard. Beautiful place. Uh, you know, you deboard on the stairs. Isn't that fun? Love the stairs. You're right on the tarmac. Same with train yes. wind. It's so exciting. You're just there. You get The planes are coming right at you. It's like 3D. Exactly. Tarmac. So tarmac, for tarmac. Yeah. So uh, we get out, we get, we we drink it up. I'm immediately drunk. I get there and I'm already buzzing. It's just my my fantasy. And we go, hey, we're gonna go back to the house. You see this house? It's like the real world. Yeah, they go pick your bedroom, whatever you want. There's eight million floors. There's eight million rooms. It's a million dollars. There's a backyard, outdoor shower. Ah, uh, you gotta have that in the beach because otherwise you're traipsing your sand all through. Good point. But I'd never had an outdoor shower, and man, that's something fun about that. You fuck in there. You you get a little piece of icing on your belly button. You go, oh, I'll hit the outdoor. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. So, uh, yeah, just a great time. Crazy house. So now I got this uh, diamond ring burning a hole in my pocket. It will take me back to the beginning here because when did you get it? When did you pick it out? Where did it come from? Because if you remember, I had my cat bird story. A bunch of women were quite cunty to me. Yes. A cat bird because I thought they were going to blow me. Yes. And they hated me. Did you have anything like that? Well, I, mean, I mean, get this, get me to this ring. I don't, don't, you're skipping the. Uh, I'm skipping. I'm skipping rings. The factory. Give me, yeah. give me the factory. Okay. Okay. So uh, I. I knew I wanted to do it there. So the lady uh-huh. is always up my asshole about the, hey, when are you going to pop it? We're getting older. I'm not getting any younger. Our kid's going to be retarded if you keep waiting, whatever. So I was like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Quit nagging me, you coos. And once I heard, hey, we're going to the vineyard, I'm like, I'll do it there. That's special. It's different. We're not just in my dumb apartment. I'm on a knee. The cat's licking my sack. It's it's not as fun. Sure. The cat's scary. Yes. I almost brought him here, by the way, just to... For continuity. I, I had Steve Rogers' cat earlier. I'm eating peanut butter, and he's like, oh, careful, he likes peanut butter. And he, he was he's scratching at my balls, the whole thing. Ah, PB. I hate these cats. I don't get the cat. Well, you know, Greg likes you. A man doesn't have a cat. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little old school. It's her cat. Well, whatever. What about a guinea pig? Yeah, I don't like uh, Italians. Uh, but uh, either way, so I, my, the sister... The girlfriend's sister is married, and her husband's this Italian guy, and okay. he's got a guy for everything. You need a welder, you call Keith. You need a guitar, you call Keith. You need a guy whacked, you call Keith. You need a whack off, you call Keith. He does it or he knows someone? He knows everybody. He's, a, he's you, all connected. Mm-hmm. So uh, I go, hey, hey, I think I'm popping the big anal. I need your help. And he goes, uh, I'm already ahead of you. What do you want? Give me the size, the the make, the model, the brand, the race, the ethnicity. And I go, I don't know anything. So now I got to get into cahoots with the sister. Now she's like, this is what she likes. She's a bit of a weirdo. She's got a fat ass. She's got some labia issues. I would go here, here, here. She hates the Jews. 
boom, bang, bing. We tell the ring guy, he's a big mook. He's like, I love it. I'm all about love, and I want to bring people together. He's like, I got the best job. I go, hey, pipe down there, Wappy. Now, is this on the vineyard, or this is in New this York? This is all ahead of time. He has, he has to go to Africa, kill the black kid, take it out of a diamond hole, or blood, and Leo, and all these people. So this is a process. So he's doing it special? Yeah. Or you're shopping around? He's doing it classy. I got you. But yeah, it's all special. Seinfeld. But nobody knows that we're... I don't know if the ladies know. Like they go, "Hey, when are you going to propose?" It is a hoop jump, baby, to get to this. It's tricky because you got to talk to the sister, but then you don't trust the sister because right. the sisters are always like, "Between you and me, it's coming." Exactly. Because she calls crying, going, "Oh, Elizabeth, he won't call." <laughs> and then she goes, "Don't worry, don't worry." He talked to Fred, and Fred's talking to exactly, the Jew. exactly. So I'm talking. I'm in the outdoor shower. I can hear over the fence. When are you going to propose? You come guzzling Nazi. What? Any time today. I'm not getting any younger. I got crow's feet. My vagina's broken. So I, I got a little smirk going, like, oh, you have no idea. It's fun. Yeah. So I kept trying to do it. I was like, maybe we'll go out to Gay Head, which is a, a part of the uh, vineyard, mm-hmm. or maybe we'll go to the carousel. And I was, like, mapping it out because it was my first time in the vineyard, so I had to think quick. I was on my toes the whole time, like, that's a good spot, maybe that. How do I break away? How do I get over here? How do I get the family out? So we kept doing events, and I was like, I got this giant bulge in my pocket oh. and a ring in the other one, and I was like, I'm going to do it here. But then her brother's there. I, I didn't want to do it around anybody. No, of course not. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing, and it, it takes away if they're like, oh, I, I knew it, oh, whatever it is. I don't I know. I hate it, family. I hate I hate yes, all of it. hate it all. The whole thing's a nightmare, but just such a special island. So I go, all right. It's like a couple days had gone by. You know, we're making dinners. We're, we're swimming in the ocean. We're beaching. We're doing whatever. So... I'm like, I'm leaving Thursday to go to Toledo, the oh. biggest 180 on the planet, by the way, the vineyard to Toledo. Yeah, that's tough. Tough, tough Toledos. Mm-hmm. So uh, I go, uh, shit, it's now Wednesday. Okay. I haven't done it. I'm leaving tomorrow. That's the day I flew over your head. Aha. Uh-huh. You lucky bastard. That's right. You son of a bitch. So I go, Seinfeld. it's got to be today. So I'm going, I, and here's the problem with groups. I'm jumping all over here, but. Everybody goes, what are you doing today? You got any plans? Oh, we're going to go to the beach. Uh, maybe I'll go to the beach. Can you go to the beach later? Because I, I got to actually do this little podcast, whatever the hell. And you're like, I'm going to the beach. You want to come? You come. No no more commiserating. You're telling me. I, I talked about it last week. I had 48 people in Maine. That was oh, our group. 48? Yeah, that's I, appalling. If I sold 48 at a comedy club, I'd be thrilled. Of course. That's how many people are in our group. Oh, literally! I'm gonna stand up paddleboard. Do they have 40 stand up paddleboard? Get the fuck out of oh here! Oh my god! You turned Maine into Emerald Isle over there. What the uh, hell are you doing with 48? The first 48. It's horrendous. Anyways, good show. So uh, never saw it. <laughs> it's not great. So uh, I go. I gotta get away from these people, and I go. I am getting a moped, and you're gonna sit on the back of it, and we're gonna go around the island. She All was right. Like, I don't know, and I'm like. You're getting on that moped, and I had to like, I had to get cunty. I go, we've been doing shit with your family. You're coming on that moped with me. She was like, all right, all right. Jeez, you fucking homo. Take it easy. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then the brother goes, maybe I'll get a moped. And I go, uh, ah! His brother. Doesn't he know? Isn't he in on it? No, I didn't tell the brother. I thought you, t- oh, the sister. I told the sister. The sister didn't tell the brother. It's a big white family. So I go, I pull a Kramer. I go up to, he's like, I'm going to put my socks on. I go in and I go, hey, sit down. And I close the door. He goes, what are you doing? I'm in the bedroom with him. I go, I'm proposing. Oh, I thought you meant you called him the (laughs) (laughs) N-word. And he goes, what? And I go, I'm proposing. And he goes, ah, come on. I pull out the ring. And he goes, holy hell. So he goes, all right, all right. And so he he breaks off. So we go get the mopeds and (laughs) we're driving around. And I really I don't know anywhere. You know, I'm not it's not like I just get on a moped and I just find the engagement spot, you know. You can't put that into the GPS. So I go, "Hey, this beach looks cool." I just open the map. I'm like, "We're going to this beach." He's like, "Okay." We go to this beach. It's dead. There's two old people sunbathing in lawn chairs at the water. There's no one else on the beach. And we're just walking around, you know, it's kind of nice. And I go, "I got to pee." And she goes, "All right, go pee." I go into a bush. I pee and I'm like, "Peeing like, when am I going to do that? I I got I got nothing. I'm on a shitty beach. Is this anything? What are we doing? These old people are here. I'm freaking out. It's been three days. I leave tomorrow. I got nothing. So I zip up. I walk back, and she's facing the ocean. Uh huh. And I go, 
this is it. Oh, God. And I just get down on one knee, and I go, uh, hey, I love you. Spend the rest of the light with me. Some stuff that I might have said. You didn't say yeah, did you? Yeah, I no said, yeah, I think I said uh, uh, yeah, a racial slur. I don't know what happened. I blacked Kramer. out. She loses it. She goes, oh, my God, are you serious? Didn't see it coming. The whole family been giving me shit all week. She starts with the waterworks. We hug it out. I'm, I'm feeling trembling. Oh. And then to cap it all off, it couldn't have been more perfect. The old couple goes and does oh, a little clap. Oh, that's sweet. So they do a clap. They go, congratulations. One of them died. And we throw the helmets on. We jump back on the moped. And we we're whizzing around the island. And I, I, she's just like, I can feel her breathing heavy. She's like, this is unbelievable. She's whispering sweet nothings into my ear. and uh, It's always nothing. Always. <laughs> then we go back to the house. The fucking mom loses it. Wow. There was a special thing. A lot of handshakes. You know, the men have to do the weird hug where you hit each other. Oh. And the dad's fun. The brother goes, good for you. The sister's jizzing. And uh, it was a magical moment. You must have been a hero over there. Like hero. Rocky One. Hero. On the moped. I've got one hand on the GPS. One hand on the on the nozzle. I'm, I'm, I'm got the ones and twos. And she's got that big ring under. Can you see Huge. it? Because it, Is it glinting underneath? Glinting, glistening, queefing, and the whole night I could see her doing this. Oh, that's fun. Loved it. That's Loved a, it. That and really warms the asshole. Yeah. So we get back to the hotel, I mean, the, the house and all the mom and the sister. We're going out. Let's get champagne. So we go hit the uh, hit the restaurant. We get this big meal. We're all out there. She's showing everybody. Everybody's jizzing. We pop champagne. Had dinner. Just a great night. And then... All I've been hearing about is this Jaws Bridge. Jaws Bridge. You got to go on the Jaws right. Bridge. What the hell's the Jaws Bridge? So the sun is out still, and I go, we're getting up. We're going to jump off the bridge. And she's not, the lady's not really a jumper or a thrill seeker, but she's like, let's do it. Wow. So this other guy goes with me. We go pull up the Jaws Bridge. Huge line packed with kids. We're the oldest people there by a mile. We pull up to that bridge. I rip my shirt off. She gets naked. We jump in. It's freezing cold. We have a thrill. We get back in the car. We go home. Oh, that's fun. It was You're nice. going to need a bigger bush. That's yeah. exciting. <laughs> I mean, that is quite a thrill. And what's fun is you get to be a hero for yes. like a couple months. Yes. Everyone's buying stuff. You can call her a cunt. You get to pick the movie because you got the ring. Right. I got the ring. And then you post the motherfucker and then the whole kitten caboodle with the thank yous and the mazels and the you're welcomes and the hooray. It's very exciting. Plus, you can get some weird shit. You're like, hey, I just got your ring. Maybe you could strap one on and fuck me while you're wearing a, a Freddy mask. You know, get sure. something fun. You know, have a couple requests. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. She feels very secure. She's like, I feel like a weight has been lifted. I feel like I can move on with my life. I don't think too much of it. But, you know, you come home. Then I told the neighbors they had a bottle of champagne at the front door. I've drank eight gallons of champagne in three days. Wow. That's yeah. so exciting. Now, have you talked date, location, all that? Because then that becomes a whole thing. I know. It's already a bit of a nightmare. You Where are we going to do it? Big, small church, no church. Yeah. You know, do you kiss, a uh, hall, a uh, dance? Yeah. We're thinking about a mosque. Uh, DJ, band. Yeah. It's a whole situation. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. I feel like, hey, I got the ring. I proposed. You're you're on uh, cleanup, sister. You get the housekeeping. You do the the venue and the the food and the roses and the invitation. And I'll be I'll be kicking back and trying to produce it with some money. Now the nice thing sounds good because you know the parents of the bride pay, and from the sounds of it, they're vacationing on Martha's Vineyard, renting a house on the vineyard. So they. You got a couple pennies in the bank, it sounds like. They got a few shekels, but who knows? Uh, my parents, I'm sure, will chip in. But, uh, yeah, she wants to go to New Orleans. We'll invite all the gays. We'll get this rich uh, twat out there from the from the tuck. She could fund it, this lady. Oh, yeah, that's right. Wow. So, and then, and then you got a bachelor me. party. Then you got Ooh, the, uh, what's the other thing? The honeymoon. Yeah. Bachelor, honey. I mean, it's, it's a lot of planning. But this is what I felt. This is what I say. Don't I don't do anything for six seven months. Just yeah. let's just ride this. Let's I'm just coasting. let's eat each other out. Let's blow. You're a hero. The whole thing. Yep. You know what I mean. That's all. That's an event in itself. You jump right into planning, and then all of a sudden you go. Eh, 
maybe I made a big mistake. You got a point. You enjoy some life, and then you figure all that shit out. Here, here, yeah, that part's over. Let me, let me bask in the. Uh... In the engage for a minute, the ring, she's loving it. She won't stop looking at it. She won't even look at me. But uh, I'm glad she's happy. I'm glad it's over. You feel like an adult. It's exciting. It's yeah. like that great Alec Baldwin speech in The Departed. Let oh, people know yeah. you're not a fag. Somebody can stand to be around you. <laughs> right. It's a great speech I'm quoting. That's a great speech. Great, great time. He's fun. So, yeah, Funny yeah. Guy. I feel good. It's done. It's terrifying, of course. I'm a child at heart. I have commitment issues, and I'm uh, secretly gay. But you press on. My parents are excited. Well, uh, maybe we'll have a, a special needs boy and uh, put him in a helmet and call it a life. Press on, Nails. Uh, did the pa- were your parents surprised? Were they excited? Did they know? Did you talk to them? Well, much like me, they're a little dead inside. But they, they know when to chum it up. So we did a FaceTime, and she's like, oh, my God. My mom's like, oh, cool. This is so nice. And my you know, she showed my mom the ring, and my mom has never put on a piece of jewelry. She wears combat boots. She's got a buzz cut and a mustache, and she couldn't have cared less. But she goes, oh, yeah, it looks good, you fucking idiot. That's exciting. Yeah. That's all exciting. It's a big, fun thing. You know yeah. what it is? It's a milestone. Yeah, it is. People Actually, love the milestone. But well, either whatever way. it is. Yeah, yeah, Oliver Stone. But yeah, we had a good time, and the trip was great, and I flew directly to Toledo and uh, proceeded to get heckled for three days straight. Mud hens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta we gotta wrap this up because we gotta oh, do a bonus. We got what's this toast? I gotta check my my phone is videotaping, oh, and we right. got a d- director coming to our house. So I'm so afraid he's like, "Where are you?" I'm buzzing oh, the door. Yeah, what the right. fuck? He's upstairs eating my wife out. So. All right. Well, we'll pause this. We'll wrap this puppy up. We'll do a hot bonus, and then uh, we'll go to Long Island and get a hot gay set. Yes, sir, ma'am. Uh, hey, I got a big gig coming up. Wise guy, Ooh. Salt Lake City, July 30th and 31st. Please come. I need to hit a bonus because the flight was $900. I don't understand on these flights these days, but whatever. Crazy. It's a hub, for God's sake. Salt hub. Lake City, Wise Guys, July 30th, 31st, August 6th and 7th, Fort Worth, Hyenas. And then I got a big space with some other stuff happening that you'll learn about later. And then in September, I'm at Helium in Philadelphia. In November, I got Zany Chicago. Uh, bananas Ooh. in uh, Hasbro Heights, or wherever it moved, I guess. Bananas yeah. in New Jersey. Yep. Philadelphia Helium, I already said I'm excited about that one. Uh, Mark Ridley's Believe It or Not. uh, You got some hot Comedy Castle. Yeah, exactly. So, and then um, I think Madison in May or something. But that's like way the fuck out. We'll probably be dead. Uh, But anyways, that's it uh, for me. And check out Joe and Ron on Talk Movies. YouTube, subscribe to YouTube. Please, farts, shit. Hell yeah. Good, Good little run you got there, fatty. I'm also uh, this weekend at the, no wait, this weekend I'm in Houston at the Improv, so let's uh, fill that thing Houston up. Houston like three weeks ago? Dallas, San Antonio. Uh-huh. I'm all over Tejas, I like it, they're open, they're fun. Uh, helium in Philadelphia as well, let's sell that puppy out. Buffalo in Helium there with old Sean Murphy. Uh, shit, some other stuff. Appleton, Skyline. What is that? Arlington Improv back in Texas. Brea Improv. Albany. West Palm Beach. Comedy Connection in Providence. Madison, Wisconsin. Nashville. Zanies. Rochester. Richmond. Funny Bone. Oh, boy. Portland, Oregon. And Laugh Boston, to name a few. So uh, we're all over the road. Say hello. I'm doing the Netflix taping August 4th. Get those tickets. I think the gays were nice enough to put the link in the Facebook Queef page, so uh, fiddle your thumbs and get all that going on. We need a we need a lot of gays. We got to rip this thing up. Nobody wants to book us, so help us out. And uh, yeah, get on the Patreon. Tell a friend. You watch our specials. Booked? Well, I feel like uh, <laughs> after this, it's going to be hard to get anything to sell again. Patreon, YouTube, all the things, specials, albums, other podcasts. We're cooking. We're queefing. And we're we're chartering so uh, help us out tell a friend let's get this thing popping thank you praise Allah George Sinkler